Hello everyone, today DJI has released a new firmware for the Phantom 3 series. This one brings a point of interest, namely orbit function, along with waypoints and other fixes. The new firmware has a particularity that during upgrade the motors can create special sounds or maybe they can even rotate. So when uh, you are going to do this upgrade, be sure that you do not have the propellers installed. Okay, let's uh, get this on. Uh, you will need uh, uh, the original SD card. You can use any kind of SD card, but uh, some people had problems updating the firmware for their Phantom 3. So I recommend you, if you still have the original SD card, use this card to avoid unnecessary problems. You will need also a SD card reader and uh, a good practice before updating firmware is to format the card. I'm using the SD format tool utility. I'm gonna show you just in a moment. It's a free application for uh, formatting SD cards to proper format. This one, SD formatter it's now on version 4 I'm going to format the card yes quick format it's formatted okay now I, I have uh, already downloaded the firmware and uh, unpacked the archive going to copy it and put it in the root of the SD card do not create any kind of folder or copy it in the image folder just in the root of the folder file system of the SD card. Alright, so the file is on the SD card. We're gonna safely disconnect the card. Alright. So, further on, I will remove the gimbal protector. I will remove the existing card and put the card we have uh, put the firmware on. Uh, we need to charge the battery. It uh, must have at least 50%. I'm using a full battery just to be sure. And now we're gonna start the battery and wait. And now the update is in progress. You can also check this, not only by the, by the sounds, but you can see the gimbal LED here, which is uh, blinking alternatively green and red. This means that the firmware is in upgrade progress. So we we'll leave it. This can take up to 20-25 minutes, so we will just come back later. So, here we are, uh, about 10 minutes later. This was a fast update. Uh, you can see that it uh, finished successfully. The green LED is uh, steady on, meaning that uh, it has finished. Uh, uh, notice about uh, this upgrade. The aircraft did some really weird sounds, like it was uh, starting again and again. The sound you hear when the gimbal initializes, it was repeated about five times. Uh, do not uh, turn it off. As long as the LED blinks, don't touch the power button. So, now it has finished uh, updating the firmware. We can also check now if the update was successful I'm gonna take the card out and uh, put it into the card reader and we'll uh, see on the laptop what uh, it's on it it should have uh, some text files in which it should uh, say how the update procedure went 
So I have connected the card reader to the laptop. I'm going to open the SD card and uh, here we have a text file and if we open it there's a log. I'm gonna try to zoom in for you to see better. Just a moment. All right and we can read here that we have success and the last version is here 104100010 this one it's uh, packet number and it's uh, result success you can see here that uh, kind of a history the older version 103 and so on to access the new functions like uh, point of uh, interest orbit or uh, waypoints you need to update the DJI go application you can see that on the market you have an option to update it we are going to update it now this one actually brings the uh, new functions you can see here intelligent navigation mode in F mode course lock home lock and so on points of interest and follow me of course if you have a tablet with a GPS function you can use it as a home beacon for your uh, aircraft and uh, it will follow you okay the update it's done I'm going to open the app and we have a new splash screen about intelligent navigation, orbit, so on. get started. Here we get a new announcement about the available firmware also the phantom 3 advanced model now supports 2.7k resolution and i'm going to start the remote and also the aircraft camera view to have access to the new functions you need to go into setup and uh, on aircraft settings on advanced settings you need to be sure that you have enabled multiple flight mode enabled and then the options are available by switching the mode from uh, po position at eighty eighty and to F80 but to use this uh, you need to take off so I'll do another video shortly with uh, the orbit function when the aircraft is uh, in the air bye bye